Hi, I'm Tim. Join me as we discuss how to use water slide decals to decorate your RC model airplane. Using decals, we can create something like this. Let's get to it. When we build plastic models, uh, even <clears throat> the radio control models, we're very familiar with decals. What a decal is, it's a design lettering a picture. It's on a material, when we cut it out, soak it into water, it slides off and it goes on to the plastic model of the airplane and dries in place. Uh, they're very handy for adding text, decorations, pictures, anything like that. With today's computers, graphical programs, we can create our own decals for radio control model airplanes. And we do that by putting in the text of the pictures on a computer, printing it out on the specialized decal paper, sealing it with a sealant, and then just applying it on a model like any other decal. This video will show you how to do that. Let's first take a look at how we make the um, product that we're going to put that we're going to print out for the decals for our airplanes. What we use is a computer program that can create text and import images. There's a wide range of programs that can do that. I have an Apple Macintosh. Keynote is a presentation uh, program that comes with it. The Microsoft equivalent is PowerPoint, Corel Draw, um, Adobe Photoshop. Anything that can print text, create text, modify it, different sizes, different colors, and import graphical images is suitable for designing what you want for your RC model airplane. So let's take a look at how we create the um, text and the pictures for this demonstration. I'll be using Keynote on the Apple Macintosh for this demonstration. Now we'll do a demonstration for creating text and pictures with Keynote, the presentation software for the Apple Macintosh. <clears throat> we'll start off with text. Just print out whatever font it comes up in. We can look at a variety of fonts. This will be a registration number on an aircraft. And just pick something you think would look good on your airplane. We can increase the size of the font to make it fit on the wing, in this case, or whatever portion of the fuselage you're going to use. Note that this is black. I've decided to change the color to red. I think that'll look better. And but red on the yellow doesn't look that good, so we'll add a black border to the registration to make it stand out a little bit on the yellow wing. We can move the registration around, duplicate it. We'll do another demonstration of text, this time the word arrow. Again, we can pick whatever font we want. This is a script font that I think would look decorative and okay, and we'll move that around. Next, we'll import some graphics, some clip art that we took from a Google search. We drag in with Keynote, it'll vary with your program, a squadron patch, and the Champion Spark Plug logo. And we can resize that, duplicate it, again, just to make it fit whatever is the particular size for your model plane. When we have created our document, <clears throat> excuse me, that we're going to print out with our text and our pictures, we have to print it onto specialized uh, inkjet water slide decal paper. And this is what the paper looks like. Um, there are two varieties. This one, inkjet water slide decal paper, it's white. It's got a white background. We'll talk about more detail on that later. And this is inkjet water slide decal paper. Notice that it's transparent. It prints on a transparent uh, for going on the model. We'll take a look at where you can buy this. I think the easiest place to buy it is Amazon. Uh, Amazon, you can buy the decal uh, paper as well as the sealer because when the printing is on the decal paper, it is not water fast. Any moisture on it, it'll run. We just put a spray, clear spray over it to hold it. Once we've created our document and we have the decal paper, we have to print it on the decal paper. We just take one sheet of the decal paper, put it into our inkjet printer, make sure it's the correct side down, and go ahead and print it out. Before we do that, I want to talk a little bit about important settings for the computer. With your inkjet printer, you typically have two cartridges. You have a cartridge for black, and then you have a color cartridge. This is what the colors look like. You have the black cartridge, and then the colors are typically cyan, magenta, and yellow. By mixing these colors, you can come up with any other color needed. What is important is with the cyan, magenta, and yellow, there is no white color with home inkjet printers. This is just a way to save money. The idea being most of your printing is on white paper, and if the um, image that you have on your uh, computer program calls for the color white, the instructions to the inkjet printer are to print nothing, just have nothing there so the white color of the paper comes through. It's a cost-effective way to have white without the need for um, white ink. 
Higher end commercial printers do have white ink, but not our home printers. What this means is when you use the transparent water slide decal paper and there's a white picture on there, the white doesn't print out, it will be clear. So it will show whatever the color is of the fuselage or wing underneath. You can use the white backed paper that will have white because it's white paper in this case, but the downside of that is the um, white will show on the edges of the materials. You have to trim it very close to the letters. Let me just show you a demonstration here. This is what we're going to put on. It's just the word arrow for the Guilo's arrow. And what had happened, this is on clear paper. When we slide this off onto our demonstration, you'll see the black letters, but it'll be completely transparent around because it's on the clear decal paper. If this was the white decal paper, this entire square would be white that would show up when you go put it onto your uh, wing or fuselage. You'd have to trim very close to the uh, letters to make it look right. I use transparent water slide decal paper for 90% of my work. I think it works best, but you can experiment on your own. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a very useful workaround with a transparent decal slide paper where you can show white underneath. So stay tuned. Another thing that's important with the print is the printer settings. When you print on your inkjet printer at home, just normally, you typically use a default setting, which uses enough color ink to produce a pleasing image. But what we want for our decals is we want a very saturated, the densest possible co a color, just so it shows up well on our airplanes. Different programs have different settings. When you go to print in your graphics program, look for the quality, and you want the highest quality. On Keynote, it's fine. With the um, other printers, you'll see things like Glossy Photo, where you're gonna print a photo. Use the highest setting possible, the most ink, to have the most dense color. It'll make your um, color decals look much better. So this is a um, printout of what we're going to demonstrate today with a registration number, some text, and these are graphical images that you saw in the demonstration I got from Google search. One is a squadron patch for the 336 fighter squadron, and the other is champion spark plugs. Notice the champion and the rocketeer patch has a lot of white, so we'll be able to see what happens when we put the transparent backing onto the colored background and how we can have a good workaround on it. Now, even though this is printed out on a regular paper, this is exactly what it looked like on the decal paper. It's white paper. As I mentioned, the color, the um, inkjet is not water fast. It'll blur if there's any sort of water on it. So what we have to do is seal it in place. There's a range of um, crystal clear enamel sealers. This is Rust-Oleum. Krylon has one. You saw how we bought it on the Amazon website. And what we do is we literally go outside because it has a smell. Spray this on the paper. I typically do a light covering to make sure it covers everything. Wait five minutes, do a second covering. Five minutes to do a third covering. Let it dry for about an hour or so, and then you're ready to apply it as decals. So now we've got our water uh, slide decal printed out. We're going to cover it with the Rust-Oleum uh, Crystal Clear Enamel. There's any variety, um, Krylon, whatever, but we'll spray this on top. There'll be three applications. We'll do about five minutes uh, between each application just to get an even covering let it dry, then it's uh, waterproof and we can make it do the decals. These are the three applications of the um, enamel covering clear, and we're gonna let that dry for about an hour, and then we should be ready to apply our decals. The important thing is once you've applied the decals onto your airplanes, they're in place, they'll hold, but they'll turn up the edges, et cetera, over time. So it's a good idea to put a very light uh, spraying of this clear, uh, covering onto the decals on the airplanes to keep everything in place. For sure, if you have a gas-powered airplane, the fuel will get to the decals. Even for electric, when it gets a little bit wet, it'll just keep the edges down. Just a very light covering. If there's a little bit of wrinkling on the material, just heat shrink it. That'll take out the um, wrinkles from the heat shrink. Now let's apply some decals to this test sheet. What I've done is I've taken a piece of scrap balsa, yellow here, blue here. The purpose of this this is a very bright color that does great with a transparent um, decal set. You'll see how um, bright the colors are. A darker color, we'll just see what it looks like when we put different types of decals onto, the, um, onto this uh, backing, simulating your model airplane. So these are some of the decals we'll be working with. We have the registration here. Notice that I decided to pick, um, print this out with red numbers. The black border makes it look good on the yellow. I think that stands out well, just a technique. Again, black um, uh, text on the yellow. You'll see the black over here will just about disappear. 
And this will be interesting. Here's a champion. What you see white is really the color of the paper underneath. When we put it here, what is the white portion will be yellow. And this is a trick that I mentioned. When we put it over this white, this is just a little bit of white covering that I ironed on here. When you put the decal over that white, it'll make it look okay. And then we'll do that on both sides, just to see how it works. And also graphics are very important. We'll see how this works on yellow, blue, and then you'll see a portion of the white. Okay, for our first decal, we put it in the water for about 20 seconds and we slide it over. And here it is on the background here. So you can see with the transparent background, all the decal around it just disappears into it. That's very easy and you can put it on. That's what it looks like. Okay, now we'll take the 40790 uniform that we have on the right and we'll put it onto the blue. Now it's transparent, we had the highest printer setting, but with the yellow background, this is what it looks like on the deep blue background, you lose the outline, you just about can't see it, but maybe a camouflage picture, a camouflage airplane, you like that kind of subdued setting. This is just part of the exper experimentation with the decal. Now we're going to do the same thing with the text of the arrow. We'll put the arrow here with a clear backing. See, it looks great on the yellow background, so that might be a planning feature for the color of your airplane with the decals if you like the yellow. So now we're going to take this same arrow black lettering, we're going to put it on the dark blue. And remember, this was dark red up here, there's the black, just about disappears on the blue. Okay, now we're going to take this Champion logo that we clipped off the internet, and we're going to put it right here. Notice as I said that what was white on here was really clear showing the white paper underneath. When you put it over the yellow, the yellow underneath shows forth where the white is. So now we're going to take that same championship logo and put it onto the dark blue side. Again, you, all, you just basically can't see it just because of the dark blue background and the transparent decals. Now we're going to take the Champion decal and we're going to put it over the white backing that I have down below. That's what it looks like. You can see the yellow going through here. The white shows through and that looks rather nice just by putting some white covering material, trim monocoat, monocoat itself underneath. Now we're going to take the Rocketeer patch and we'll put it on the yellow on this side. Again, it looks okay, but there's a lot of white in here because it's transparent on the decal, it's yellow underneath, it doesn't look quite as pleasing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Rocketeer and put it on the white square here. It's the same size as the Champion plug, but you'll see the portion that's white underneath, you'll see it'll be white, then dark blue underneath, it'll, it'll show the contrast. And there you can see with the white underneath, it shows up absolutely ideal, even on a very dark blue. You just have to cover, cut out the white to the shape of the decal. And you can see that with that white underneath, it shows up just fine. And then underneath it just about, um, on top, it just about disappears with the dark blue. So again, this is a good demonstration. Transparent decal paper, light covering, dark coloring, the difference is and a very easy trick of putting white underneath with the transparent decals to make it look very realistic when it's on your As a demonstration of what can be done with the decals, this is uh, one of my designs from a few years back, the Electro Aviator. We can take a look at some of the detailed uh, decal work I did. Again, the name of the airplane, Electro Aviator, uh, various emblems, you can put out text. This is the type of electric motor we have. The Phantom Civil symbol, various squadron patches along here. And of course the numbers on the back. I'd like to also point out the rondelles on the fuselage. Notice there's a lot of white here. What I did in this case is I used the white back decal paper for this. I just very carefully trimmed around the circle because it's not that hard to trim the circle so the white doesn't show up the edges. The squadron leader stripe here is simply trim monocoat where you peel it off it just sticks right on the model but it can make for a good effect. And same thing for the letters on the tail, the YM, the black outline on the red letters I think works well. American flags, even the no pushes on the stabilizers. So again, thank you for watching this video. Uh, decals can add a lot to your model and decoration. They're really quite easy to do. And as you learn with transparent white paper, etc., you can be very proficient with the decals. Thank you.